laparoscopic, some basics, uh, orientation, hands, eye. You, you try to, to make some knots, some stitches uh, by laparoscopic approach. Uh, to train your coordination, it's basics. So the laparoscopic and laparoscopic surgery is, uh, is one of the medical innovation from last decades. And for, in nowadays, uh, a lot of procedures are gold standard by proceeding by laparoscopic approach like uh, uh, appendectomy, uh, anterior focus surgery, uh, cholecystectomy, etc. So laparoscopic surgery has some uh, some difficulties about the uh, step up learning curve. It's a long step up learning curve, difference from, from conventional approach from uh, open surgery. So, you need first of all to learn to, uh, to coordinate your. The term is hands eye. You're looking to different places where you're working. So, first time. Anyone? And try to coordinate your hands and to put it in these little holes by different ways, one by one. It's not an easy job. Like this. Then you try in another hole, maybe. So it's not an easy job, it's just for hands coordination and I am because the laparoscopic approach is in 2D, not 3D, like real life. And the deep perspective is so different. First of all, you can define which is deeper and which is near to you. And maybe this is the first task for you, maybe for couples. One <coughs> can hold the, your camera and help you another one make uh, uh, make the task and then switch it which will be the first couple come on Yes, this is exactly an example for, for how difficult it is. You need to hold the instrument like this. The, the, the point finger can turn the instruments 30, 60 degree around. So it can help you. This can help you in such situation like this, maybe. <laughs> okay, first success, congratulations. If you have any questions, you can ask me right now or after the workshop. Or
every procedure uh, by, done by, by a laparoscopic approach has uh, some interventions that uh, are need to be performed before uh, you do by yourself independently. It's called a learning curve, a plateau of learning curve. So if you want to do perform a laparoscopic cholecystectomy, you need to reach uh, at least 25 procedures with supervision by more experienced surgeons. You know about the Da Vinci Systems Robotic Surgery? Any one of you? Robotic surgery is um, maybe one of the newest innovation in minimally invasive surgery and uh, highest technology per uh, performed by a lot of surgeons outside of, of Bulgaria. Bulgaria has only one center with experience in robotic surgery in Pleven. The problem with robots is they are not cost effective and the operative time is, is longer than laparoscopic and conventional approach because they have a docking time. Docking time means to change the instru instruments in the robot arm. <coughs> when you have a good coordination, you can, the next, ta next task is to uh, tie a note and after that to make a stitch. So you have a two basic tasks. <coughs> yes, you need to handle the instrument like this, the both of them, because you can coordinate with with uh, the arm of instrument, 360 degree. So what were the benefits again for? Length of stay are decreased, mm -hmm. less surgical trauma, less immunity response, um, faster recovery, okay. faster going to work, to normal habits, less pain. with the same results like conventional surgery in, in oncological cases, in colorectal cancer, in, in gastric cancer, the same results. So you, you don't need to compromise the oncological safety of the patient. Mm In open surgery, you can buy some in basic instruments, can do it at your home and get some little step-by-step -step experience, but it's uh, more complex in laparoscopic approach. You need specific instruments, specific uh, mm -hmm. camera.
Any questions, anything to discuss? Don't be shy. What is your first expression? Um, difficult. Difficult. But uh, yeah, it needs. I think it needs a lot of practice. Yes. Mm -hmm. But if you look some videos in YouTube, mm -hmm. in example, perform laparoscopic approach, it looks very easy. When some trainees start with laparoscopic surgery, it's a syndrome like a sleeping hand. You work only with another hand, with one hand, and another is sleeping. Just do not help you. And it may be a, a, a thousand of uh, hours performing before uh, you can practice with two hands. So. The right hand is sleeping, now the left hand is working. Mm -hmm. Okay, congratulations. Three in a row. <coughs> nice job.
plastic duct, the cystic artery, to clip them, to cut them, and then to remove the, the bladder. Gobbler. And if you have a gastrectomy, first of all, you need to present the, the, the vessels, the four vessels about the stomach, to regate them, cut them, and then to remove the stomach with the tumor. So it's the same procedure. Next one. Why is it used to carbon dioxide? It's a nice question. So because the oxygen, it's burnable. You use the electricity and uh, the bipolar, the monopolar uh, instruments you know, to coagulate, to cut some tissues and if you use the oxygen, you <laughs> make a small bump in the abdominal cavity. The carbon dioxide is a problem to the anesthesiology team. Because it has a minimal absorption in the, in the, uh, through the peritoneum. The peritoneum is... Uh, and the new guidelines is... Uh, a different organ. It's not just a surface, it's an organ that has a lot of function, <coughs> can absorb uh, the gases, and it's controlled by anesthesiology team. Another issue is uh, when you reach the pneumon, it's like uh, 14, 14 millimeters, uh, and it's a problem if you have a patient with the right heart failure, uh, and uh, because the right, you have, you have a positive pressure in the abdomen, it's, uh, it's difficult, to, difficult to work the heart, the, the, right, uh, the right part of the heart, I mean, atrium and ventricle. So it's very difficult. It, it's part of the contraindications. It's relative contraindications. So, there are three exercises. First one is uh, it's called uh, over and under wrap. So you, it's a, a basic basic task for for not the tie. So it's like this. The right instruments go down. The left instruments go down, and the right go up, and then make. A knot. It's over. Make maybe the same like uh, to tie a knot with the instruments. It's like this. Over wrap and under wrap is like this. There's three approaches to perform this. The first one is an elevator approach, like as I told before. The right instrument is down, the left is up, and then switches and make. this. The second is only with right hand. So you pull the, the wrap and the left hand is sleeping hand, the right hand perform a knot. So like this, o over up, under up, under up, over up. Okay. And the third approach is with pronation supination. When you move the instruments, the left instruments like this, if you move it like this, maybe make it uh, easier to, to not tie for you. So this is the first task. The second task is to hold a needle and stitch. So to hold the needle, first of all you need to hold it with the left hand like this, only the wrap. And the right hand with a needle holder, like this. Like so, Give me a second. Like 
like this or so um, you grab the needle with the left hand with the instrument and with the right hand you can make uh, this uh, exercise is called a dancing needle so you need to rotate the needle 30 60 degree it's just for training if you can do this in appropriate position so we can it's not appropriate position you know <laughs> take it in appropriate position with the needle holder fix it look at it. it's okay it's okay so grab some tissue like here and make a stick If you want to make a tie after that, you need to make the same exercise like before it's over and then you wrap like this. Two times, three times, so, so and grab it. Okay. Now it's your turn, I will help because it's very difficult. It's it's not an easy job. It's like uh, several minutes for each one. Who will be the first? So first of all, <laughs> when you try to make uh, over and under wrap, you need to catch with left hand in the end of the of the wrap. So I will show you. Now. grab it at the very end. So there is the very end. Oh, with the right hand? Yeah. No, with the left. Sorry, if you're left-handed surgeon, with the right hand. But if you're right-handed surgeon... Exactly. There is okay. So now you can rotate the, the arm of the left instrument with the Point finger uh, in another way, okay. In right turn. Right. Ah. No. Okay. Yep. Okay. Well done. Try another. It's not an easy job. It seems easy when someone with experience performs over and under, but it's not that easy. I'm sorry. Are the instruments for one-time use? No, some of them. So these plastic are one-time use. It's a single usage. And the, this one is dispensable. 
uh, it's for for several time and uh, need of holders are it's it's not for one time it's not a single that these those draw cards are for single use okay uh, shall i begin with the next one Okay, the next one is uh, with the needle. It's over there. Grab the wrap first of all, maybe, and bring it near to you. Okay. Get out and another wrap. Take it and get it out. Now you need to hold with the left hand to hold the needle. Take a needle with the left hand. Okay. Only the needle, not the rub. Okay. Now rotate to the left side. More, more. Like no, like, like that. Okay. Now grab the uh, the rub with the near to the maybe two or three centimeters uh, after the needle. Okay. Come closer to you. Yes, and try now to make this uh, dancing needle rotate the. Uh, like this, let me show you. Like this. So if you grab it there, rotate the needle. In when the needle holds in inappropriate position, you need to handle it. With the right? Yes, with the right hand. Okay. So this is not appropriate position. <laughs> It's advanced task. <laughs> Just to show you how difficult it is, it's not necessary to complete these tasks. So.